Do Flamingo is still not done. Somehow. And we might be. I, dude, I don't know anymore. We have been to the edge and back here at Dress Rosa, and yet it continues. Yet it fights. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss. The fight between fourth gear Luffy and Dolvamingo has come to a head. Luffy using up all the energy he had and running out, while Dolvamingo still remains somehow. He smiled at the end of the last one after taking a fat hit, just being thrown right into the mountain. And a wild card, a uh, Burgess from Blackbeard's crew is hopping in. So I really don't know anymore, man. That aside, we're going to hop into it. Drop a like on this one. It helps me out quite a bit. And let's get started. I feel like there's a lot of religious imagery in this arc. Like the whole Usopp thing, of course, but like even Doflamingo right now. Looks like he's like crucified. Dude, he just he seems chill too. Like that, like they mentioned the birdcage still isn't gone. Like he's not defeated, man. Oh, he's healing himself. That's all it takes, man. What makes it smoke though? I mean, the thing is too, there's so many players that could come into play. It's because of all the characters we met and everything. Like anybody could come back him up. It's just a question of if they can stand two Doflamingo. They'd be in sheer numbers. <laughs> this one civilian stopped. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame the civilians, bro, honestly. Like, if you're just a regular dude, no devil for it, no nothing, like, what are you supposed to do, man? <laughs> like, his, like, arms struggling to even use, try to use gear two. Never seen that before. I don't think. Dude. Yeah, somebody's got to get... Gyat! It's Gyat! Out of anybody in Dress Rosa to catch Luffy right now, he was the very last one! Oh my gosh! There is no way. <laughs> that is so random. Oh, that is so random. <laughs> he had so much respect for Lucy. Fuck, goddamn Gaimon could have waddled up and caught Luffy and I would have been less surprised. Wow, he's actually asking if he can help. My goodness, man. This guy's got courage. 10 minutes. Is that his limit? Or his refresh, his cooldown? So he definitely, yeah, okay, because he said he used Bounce Man or like fourth gear on that island with the animals. So he knows the exact cooldown. 10 minutes isn't bad. It's a long time with Doflamingo, though. So now it's just survive 10 minute, minute objective survive. And if you can, Luffy will finish him. <laughs> what is Gyat supposed to do, man? I'm sorry. And Dolphamingo also doesn't know the cooldown of Luffy. He could assume that Luffy is like kind of just out for the, the day. Like a rubber ball. <sighs> nah, I feel like this is where it brings back into play all the people from the Coliseum. Cavendish. I don't know about Harudan. I mean, well, some of them were actually I'm just taken down, taken down from the executives. Well, they better act fast. We're about to see a Gyatso Doflamingo 1v1. Are we at the eye catcher already? Oh, I thought we were. That would have been crazy. Sometimes I feel the, 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 the you know, you, you get the vibe of where it's at. So all these people are just going to throw their bodies at Doflamingo? Oh, you guys are brave souls. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I don't remember most of you guys. I do remember him. He was cursed as hell. I remember mostly just like our group from the Coliseum. Like everybody we got to know that fought the family that did help. So these are all people that didn't help and have been just like chasing down bounties this whole time. I see a little bit of redemption for them. Well, I mean, I would say it's admirable, but like now their lives are actually on the line because like if they don't take down Doflamingo, the birdcage constricts and they all die anyway, so. Oh my. Mr. Heavenly Demon. It's nice of Lucy to make a surprise entrance here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I see a cheetah. I just kind of associated with them. I think that's a cheetah. So he's just gonna run away with Luffy? Yo, Shadow Gyatz, man. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. What a beast. They're all just gonna sacrifice themselves. So oh. <gasps> Burgess! Oh, shoot! Oh, sh oh shoot! Sabo! Thank you! Vi 
finally! Where has my man been? He said, I ain't losing to the other brother. Yes, sir. He's gonna help the, the entire objective. I mean, he doesn't know that Luffy needs 10 minutes, but still, he'll help regardless. I guess the other fighters have already kind of had their moments. Now it's up to these fighters that haven't. And like I said, Sabo, or maybe like the Straw Hats, I don't know. Zoro would want to help. And it's not like he's like out of energy or anything. He he took Pika down. He's like, all right, guys, this is like, this is like dinner or what? what's up? Oh, so he sensed Luffy's hockey fading from that far away and then dove in. Oh, dang, bro. I like Burgess, though, like busting out of a, an entire building. That guy's crazy. What a fat kick, too. If we got like a Sabo Burgess 1v1, that would go wild. I feel like he doesn't stand a chance against this devil fruit, though. It's still so cool having him back, man. The three-star criminal. There's no way you guys are still on that system. There's no way. Aww. Ooh, good question. Good question. Oh. Oh. I think he's like genuinely curious. He just let him sit up. Look <laughs> at face, bro. <laughs> he's just going to report back to Blackbeard. He's like, yep, there's another one. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Sabo has like direct beef with Burgess. I never even thought about it like like that. Like he's on Blackbeard's crew. Yes, sir. Now, if the same sort of thing happens to Sabo, then I, dude, it'll it'll just destroy me and my entire life. And Luffy, I don't think Luffy would ever recover from Sabo dying now. <laughs> Oh, so he's gonna leave or? I mean, if, if you go out after Luffy, you do have business with him. Uh, oh yeah, wait, he wouldn't know. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, wait, they've already fought. They technically fought in the, in the finals. <laughs> I gotta remember how out of the loop everybody is. Like they don't always all know what, what I know. We are gonna get a 1v1, bro. Yeah, I was about to say, who's cats? <laughs> Smile! Luffy's like too tired to be like insanely hype because like regular, regular Luffy would be like, no shot! Bro's like exhausted. Dog, I dude, I don't know. I don't know if I'm terrible at power scaling. I don't think Burgess stands a chance. I mean, unless he has like hockey to like like actually hit a Logia, bro. Like, what are you gonna do to him? Boom! The Dragon Claw with fire. How does that not just kill Burgess? But he got bodied. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh my gosh. Dude, Sabo. Sabo's kind of him now. He's Hemothy. Okay, I would say subordinate of the of one of the farmers means that much. I mean, like, Blackbeard doesn't, like, just hire anybody, right? But I guess it's kind of a big deal. Hunting down devil fruit eaters. Like, in particular, not just Luffy? Wait, was there more to that? Oh god, you are so uh, you're so lost, man. I feel like at some point we're just gonna see Dolphin go flying up. <laughs> okay, Gats. Oh. Yeah, how is Dolphin Mingo not just squad wiped all these people? Oh, it's getting darker. Oh, it went from like blue sky and everything like dark and cloudy. Like it's getting it's getting more dire that they protect him. Everybody's getting taken down. I I, I didn't expect them to, to actually stand up against Dolphin Mingo. It's more just to delay. Dude, look at this demon. I love that shot. Oh my gosh, just de destruction. I, I mean, I feel bad for these guys. I actually stood up against them. But like I said, it was life or death either way. Why does not tease so hard with the to be continued sometimes? I, I know what's coming. 7.30. Just one pirate running amongst the civilians. I don't, I don't know if I'd call Doflamingo a jerk, man. I, I, I think it's exceeded being a jerk. I'm not going to lie. 
Whether or not they can recover Dressrosa, it's billions of dollars in restoration efforts. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, you might as well turn Luffy in after this to pay for some of it. And turn in as many straw hats you can catch, honestly. And even then, it's going to cover, like... A shred of what of all these buildings, man. We're looking at a humanitarian disaster here. They're all packed in like sardines. Bro, all the little tendrils. It kind of reminds me of Caesar. I miss him. I hope he's doing well. The Kuma shirt! I saw it! Yeah, does Riku have like another motivational speech locked and loaded? Your people aren't doing hot, man. I still haven't forgotten that the identity he came up with in the Coliseum was Ricky. That was incredible. Get down there, guys! What are we doing up here? Oh, what? What the? Fireflies? It's beautiful. You would not believe your eyes. I'm so sorry. What the hell is happening? Where did they, where did they even come from? He's back! What? What just happened? Am I stupid? What? We don't get the next one to hit. Thank you, Zoro's taking and taking the upper. Oh yeah, that's right. Forgot he's trying to cut the cage. My goodness gracious. Dress Rose has broken me. I gotta like start taking notes, man. Even armament hockey blades, black blades can't cut it or stop it for that matter. Come on, Kinemon, you try. How do you know that? Yes, sir. That's what I'm saying. Mm hmm Yes, sir! Oh, so, so he can infuse with hockey, too. Okay, gotcha. So he's a very talented sword. I mean, we already know he knew he was a talented swordsman. I just didn't know where he was in comparison to, like, Zoro. Oh, Kondoro can, too! All right! I just love that effect. And plus, Kinemon has, like, fire he can add to it. Yeah! Look at the three colors! That's sick! And the fact that he's still just getting pushed. Oh, so you can just go in the factory and hide in there, no? What's their plan? They're gonna push? Oh my gosh! I'm a coward for saying to hide! But like, the civilians should go in the factory, realistically. That's so like him, thinking outside the box. Oh, that was a cute moment, actually. What's happening here? What? Oh. Are they just like on high ground or like what's going on here? The new king splats. Oh gosh. It's like anything past that basically. I see. It's like more in the center of Dressrosa where the birdcage is constricting to. Bards! Yes, sir! Dude, I've grown to love this man so much. Sai's cool too. Honestly, all of them are pretty cool. Haruda and my goat. Yes, sir! That kind of reminds me of the uh, the impel down shot of all of them running. But so what happened? I mean, Haruda was the only one that was like actually like knocked out, knocked out, I think. I mean, the only thing I can think is Manchuri, but I thought... Oh, it is Manjuri. I thought she had to like choose very carefully. Nah, she if that was her, she was throwing stuff everywhere. I thought it took life force to use that. I guess it depends how much it uses. That makes way more sense now. I just, I just didn't think about her because I thought it was very like weighing. You're already together, baby five. Drop it. They're all going to take a stand against Doflamingo. <laughs> Double Mingo must uh, like, assume that he's just trying to rest up a little bit, get his energy back. I mean, if they could get Luffy to Manchuri, oh gosh. More constricts. Dude, to all the civilians, man. There's nowhere to run. Dude, that would be so terrifying, man. Like these razors just cutting in on you. Seeing it just like obliterate buildings, just getting closer. Cl I cannot, oh my God, bro. Just terrifying. He forces the bird cages to close faster, makes Luffy step in faster, even if he's not ready. Because Luffy's not just gonna die to the bird cage and, and let Doflamingo just win like that, or let all those civilians just die. Riku cannot do much, man. I'm not gonna lie. Aside from inspire. 
That's kind of another uh, VV moment. Like, VV not being able to stop anything in Alabasta, being so powerless, just yelling from the clock tower. Kind of a... Uh, I wouldn't say it's like a callback or anything, but I think it uses the same themes. Yes, sir! This is what I want to see! Okay, so he can't use armament, so he would be able to hit Sabo, I'm assuming, since it is hockey. Now, this is a freaking fight, baby. Can somebody tell me where... Damn! Dude, he's getting clocked! And he's on fire! Can someone tell me where Fujitora is? Like, he wouldn't he try to stop Dovamingo and not just let all these civilians just perish? Like, the clock is ticking, man. All three of them just standing there. See, this is good because, like, even if this changes nothing, it would be like, why didn't any of them try to stop it? It takes away from that that wonder. Whether, like I said, whether or not they are able to, it puts them to use somewhere where it makes sense. And I like the three swordsmen working together at the same time. It's 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 perfect decision. Then <laughs> law, poor law. No way he gets up and into it, man. Everybody's giving it their all. Dude, that's a cool shot, man. There he is, my gosh. Oh, wait, that was more of Manchuri. What, is Manchuri raining it down onto everyone? Dude, I feel like it's not showing where Luffy is so you can have like a grand return. Like out of nowhere, just fourth gear again. <laughs> this low def, we're gonna peek his legs, bro. Four minutes, that's already been six minutes. That's very impressive. Oh, one minute, oh. Uh, um, so we're a minute short. Oh, they are going to get obliterated. Oh, <laughs> and just like, like the, the, the one tiny movement, they're all just dead. Yeah, just like that. I would be very curious how Bart would do against Doflamingo. Like, I think Doflamingo would beat him in the end, but I think he could do a lot. Like, what if Bart surrounded them with a barrier and the, the strings came in? What what would win first? I don't think his barrier would ever be destroyed. Like, it's actually impenetrable. Oh, they're pushing it with the barrier. Damn! Ah, oh, interesting. All three sections, the swordsmen, the factory, and then the, the Coliseum fighters. Den Delixers? So she just fly up and then drop them? Oh, little dandelion. Oh, I see. She's just flying above healing everyone. What if one of them hits Dovamingo? Ah! Oh, she's crying over the, the entire city, the entire kingdom. <laughs> oh, gosh. Over a wide area. So, how much life force does this take, man? Oh. She was like, I'm crying anyways. Yeah, uh-huh. Oh, a temporary ultra recovery. Maybe just this strategy or this uh, ability. That makes way more sense. And it would honestly be too busted if it was just like, ah, oh, you're perfectly fine. It's like ibuprofen times a thousand. Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, like 90% of it has, but we can hold on. Aww. Mensuri's so adorable. She can heal those that can. It's very you. I like how we got a shot of Vujitora and that was it. This, I swear, man. Kyan's still talking about it like it's a Coliseum fight. Room! Whoa! He TP'd himself down? Oh my gosh! Too far. What? He, he kind of gave us a, a time. Yeah. Oh, he'll operate on him. Mayhaps. Like, how much can he do? Like, how can he regain Luffy's hockey? I'm honestly just more impressed that they gave us a 10 minute timer last episode. And over the course of these two, seven went by. Because usually in anime, when you get a timer of that sort, it takes like five or six for the whole thing to go by. Now I won't speak too soon because it's very possible the next two that like one minute total goes by. Who knows? But either way, man, the clock is ticking down. We are nearing the finale of Dressrosa. And dude, it's just, it's still like keeping the gas down. Like it's using all the characters 
characters we've been introduced to in every single way, except for the family, because they're all, I guess, just incapacitated. Man Cherie giving us a reason for it to have all the Colosseum fighters back. The swordsmen all together. Frankie with the Tentatas. It's so cool, man. That's mostly the reason why I can't wait to see how this all wraps up and to see the place in the world that every character has here like going forward. Like, I know most of them we won't ever see again, right? That's just kind of how it is. But knowing they're out there in the world and can show up at any time, this has by far been the arc to introduce the most new characters, I think. I mean, Marine Ford, there was a lot with all the different crews, but dude, like so many and so many that I just love so much because of just all the, their little differences and characteristics and stuff. But I think in the next two, we are going to see Luffy finally regain his hockey and we will see how this all goes down. So make sure you sub so you don't miss my reactions to that and uh, I'll catch you guys then. Is base.